Hey, this is Presh Tallwalker, and you're watching Mind Your Decisions. Here's a really fun puzzle. The challenge is to make each number from 0 to 10 using three threes. In other words, make each equation true with equality using mathematical operations. There are many ways to do this, and here's a crazy hard bonus question. Find two answers for 333 equals 10 using only the following symbols, plus, exclamation point, and parentheses. I thank Yale from Hong Kong for suggesting this problem, and I give credit to Carl Ho's channel. His video in Chinese made this problem go viral in Hong Kong. The puzzle went viral because of 333 equals 10, which is the hardest one in this list. The crazy hard bonus might introduce a new concept to you, and I hope you will enjoy learning it. There are other ways to solve 333 equals 10, and I'm going to present some of those as well. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So many of these equations have multiple answers, and due to time constraints, I'm only going to present some of the answers. If you find another method, let everyone know in the comments. I won't be able to respond to emails as I'm getting too many nowadays. So let's get started. 3 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 9. We could also do 3 to the power of 3 divided by 3 is equal to 9. Next, we can do 3 plus 3 minus 3 to get to 3. Or we could also do 3 times 3 over 3. Continuing, 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. We divide that by 3 and we get 2. Another way is 3 minus 3 over 3. That also gets to 2. To get to 6, we could do 3 times 3 minus 3, or we could do 3 factorial minus 3 plus 3. One creative way that you can get to 6 is you'll do 3 left shifted by 3 over 3. This equals 3 times 2 to the power of 1, which is equal to 6. This less than less than is read as the arithmetic left shift operator, and you're shifting by one binary bit. This is something computer scientists will be familiar with, and I got the idea from the website Cut the Knot. Continuing on, we can get 4 by 3 plus 3 over 3. We could also do 3 factorial minus 3 factorial over 3. To get to 1, one way we could do this is 3 factorial minus 3, and then we divide that by 3. We could also do 3 to the power of 3 minus 3, or we could do the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, and then we divide that by 3. That also gets to 1. To get to 0, we'll do 3 factorial minus 3 minus 3. To get to 5, we'll do 3 factorial minus 3 over 3. We could also do 3 factorial over 3 plus 3 to get to 5. To get to 7, one way is 3 factorial plus 3 over 3. We could also do 3 factorial plus the quantity 3 minus 3 factorial. And because 0 factorial is equal to 1, this equals 7. We could also do 3 divided by 0.3 subtract 3, and that also gets to 7. To get to 8, we have 3 factorial plus 3 factorial over 3. So now that brings us to the final equation, which is perhaps the most interesting challenge. One way to solve this problem is you take the arctangent of the square root of 3, and then you divide by the quantity 3 plus 3 to get to 10. I saw this in a video comment on Carl Ho's channel. The logic is that the arctangent of the square root of 3 is equal to 60 degrees. 
Now, technically, you then divide by 6 to get to 10 degrees, but that'll be good enough for this puzzle. Another way that you can solve this is you take the square root of 3 plus the square root of 3, you take that quantity, multiply it by 3, that'll get you to a number that's slightly larger than 10, so you then take the floor function or round down to get to 10. I saw this on the website Cut the Knot, three threes. Now Yale suggested three possible solutions to this as well. Here's one creative way. You take the square root of 3 times 3, which will be 3. You then divide it by 3%. 3 divided by 3% is 100. You then take the square root of 100 to get to 10. Another solution is you take the log with the base, the square root of the square root of 3. You take that of 3 and then you add 3 factorial. Now the logarithm will evaluate to be 4, so then when you add 3 factorial, you get to 10. Another way is that you take 3 times 3, that'll be 9, and then you add the following. You take the derivative of 3, which is 0, and then 0 factorial is equal to 1. So we have 9 plus 1, and that equals 10. Amazing. So now, how do we solve this bonus question, two answers to get us to 10 using only the symbols plus exclamation point and parentheses? In order to solve this, I'm going to review some ways that you can use the exclamation point. The most common way is n factorial or n exclamation point. This is the number of permutations of n. That is the number of ways to arrange the order list going from 1 to n n factorial is the product of the numbers from 1 to n, and 3 factorial is equal to 1 times 2 times 3, which equals 6. We've been using that in many of these equations. But there's another way that you can use the exclamation point. Exclamation point n is read as n sub factorial. This is the number of derangements of n. These are permutations where no element appears in its natural order. So let's calculate some of these. 1 subfactorial is equal to 0. This is because the list 1 has no derangements. The only way you can order 1 is to have 1. 2 subfactorial is equal to 1. This is because the list 1, 2 has the derangement 2, 1. 2 is in the wrong spot and 1 is in the wrong spot. But there's no other way that you could arrange the elements like this. Now for a list of 3 elements, 3 subfactorial is actually equal to 2. Why is that? Well, how can we put the list 1, 2, 3 so that no element is in its natural order? There are two different ways. We could have the list 2, 3, and 1, or we could have 3, 1, and 2. Notice that in each of these, the numbers 1, 2, and 3 are all out of order. So it'll be very useful to us that 3 subfactorial is equal to 2. Now, just for general knowledge, there are formulas for subfactorial. n subfactorial is equal to the following formula. It's n factorial times this alternating sum. You can also calculate it as the following. n subfactorial is equal to the floor function of n factorial divided by e plus 1 half. This will be true for n greater than or equal to 1. So, how does 3 subfactorial equal to 2 help us solve this problem? Well, one way we can get to 10 is 3 factorial plus 3 subfactorial plus 3 subfactorial. We have 6 plus 2 plus 2, and that gets to 10. Another way to solve this is 3 subfactorial multiplied by the quantity 3 plus 3 subfactorial. We have 2 multiplied by 3 plus 2, so we have 2 multiplied by 5, and that also equals 10. So this is how you solve the bonus question of getting to 10 using only the symbols plus exclamation point and parentheses. Did you figure out these problems? And what methods did you come up with? Please share in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. These math videos, which can be watched for free, inspire and build confidence for people around the world, and they already have over 100 million views. Let's share the beauty of mathematics. With your help, we can math the world a better place. Please subscribe for free to get the news videos, watch and share all of Mind Your Decisions videos, 
Email me a puzzle or a math topic, presh at mindyourdecisions.com. If you so choose, you can check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon to earn exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your support.